mid lane is usually a mage in most situations. I'll just do the standard mage build here. I'll pick Scylla because I like her and uh, go to the guard builder. Um, what you want to start with on most mages is Vampiric Shroud. It's simply too good to pass on. You, The reason you don't start boots or anything else is you need the early dominance in mid lane. So much is decided in the first five levels. And um, if you can't get that, then you have a problem. Uh, Vampiric Shroud is great because it gives you uh, health and mana back. But we also have a new option here, which is Soulstone. And um, this allows you to get some extra MP5 for killing an enemy, for a, a minion, basically. And um, then at five souls, so after five minion kills, uh, four, four minion kills, no, five, um, your next ability is granted plus 30 magical power. On burst mages, this makes sense. I'd say Poseidon is a very strong contender for this item. Um, both have their place, so to speak, and uh, now there's another option with Soulstone. I'll just take that out for now, because you won't get both of them in most situations. Instead, oh, calm the fuck down, Scylla. Um, you will want to get either Lost Artifact. This is if you want to go into Doom Orb, usually. Sometimes you just get it and upgrade it later, but... Um, Doom up is very uh, cheap at the moment. It's not as risky as many people claim it is because it kind of pays off around, I think, 10 stacks already, which is not hard to keep. And you can always sell it for Book of Thoth later. Um, so Doom up is great, uh, especially for early bursts once again, or for those who struggle with early bursts to make up for that and uh, get some decent clear in. And the other option would be uh, Tiny Trinket. This is then usually built into... Bancroft's Talon um, to uh, get the extra sustain in lane and also get a lot of damage. Um, really depends. Lost Artifact is more common now. Tiny Trinket and Vampiric Shroud still give that uh, superior sustain in lane though. On top of that you get the usual pots. I'm not going to put them in again. Um, I think it is... Hang on. Um, I can't do math. 1,000 for one each. Uh, though with a tiny trinket, you be actually actually able to get an extra pot, which also also makes for more sustain. Um, so when backing, oh, sorry, I'll just take up the tiny trinket. When backing, you want to get uh, either your doom orb, or if you didn't build into that, then you want to build into Bancroft's Talon. Um, the point is, many people will make the mistakes and go back and get boots. But the early power, the early clear that you get with these items, the early pressure that you get with these items, is so much better than anything that boots allows for. In the mid lane, you have to play fairly safe to not get ganked by the jungler, but at the same time the lane is very short, so somebody like Scylla shouldn't have to worry too much, can dash, dash away and not worry anymore. Um, therefore, a power item first, uh, makes you steamroll so much harder and in many situations you might even have enough gold to get another extra item. So when that is done, your next item should be boots and I would recommend always going for shoes of focus. I know there are some people that like to go for shoes of the Mag magi but at the moment from what uh, most recent calculations from Kretz I think came up uh, with uh, cooldown reduction boots are the better option uh, in most scenarios. And um, that is uh, very, very handy in that you can use your abilities more often, your escape as well, your kill yeah, whatsoever. Uh, Shoes on the Magi might sometimes make more sense if you're trying to stack mana for Book of Thoth. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd say Shoes of Focus most of the time. And um, then there's one last kind of mandatory item, uh, which is in most cases Spear of the Magus. Uh, but not in all cases, in some cases it's Obsidian Shard. Uh, Spear of the Magus usually uh, pays off more, for example on Agni or Poseidon you should always get it, but there are some exceptions uh, that profit more from Obsidian Shard and th these are those that have a very limited pool of damaging uh, magical abilities. Uh, Hell comes to mind, Hell wants a burst early, 
she's not really a mid laner, but whatever. Um, and she wants that obsidian shot. You need this penetration so early now because boots no longer give penetration. And um, therefore, I would usually recommend getting this at this point. And after that, you usually have a fair bit of magical power already. And what should be in your build at some point in most situations is Rod of Tahuti. Um, simply because it gives so much extra power if you have some other magical power items. Um, there's probably only a very small minority of builds that uh, actually don't have Rod of Tahuti. So yeah, these are basically the standard items on mages. Obviously, don't get both of these. So I'd say something like this would work out.